Hello, it's Sarah. And today's video, I'm painting the Dollar Tree Santas. I've already painted three. I have three more to go. And I'm enjoying making these little guys. These are from the Dollar Tree. There were six, I think maybe six in a pack or eight. But I have, let's see, I have six prepped. Anywho, I've also been painting these little tiny ones from Hobby Lobby. And I decided today's the day I'm going to um, share how I did it. Um, I have several of the little ones done. So I'll zoom in and share. I'm um, going to do a couple different techniques. So let me zoom in and show you what I have so far. I'm also enjoying doing black and brown faces, which it's kind of, you know, it's nice to do that. I mean, we're not all the same. And so I have this batch. I have literally like three different colors. I think this one's called uh, Dark Flesh. This one I did Milk Chocolate. And then this one I did Flesh Tone. Um, so just use what you have. Um, you're going to have to adjust shading colors based on what face color you used but the rest of the Santas are all the same I did them all red red suits I based the fur with I think it's called mink tan yeah mink tan I based all the fur so except for my first one I did it with the gray I undercoated the beards with Quaker gray and I undercoated all the fur with gray as well I also changed um, this little section here, I'll show you, um, where's my, I'll just use a brush. So you can kind of see how this Santa has, his boots are taller, and on this one his boots are shorter and he has bigger fur. But I also didn't like stipple the fur on, I just kind of floated it. So you can do this so many different ways. I'm just going to show you how I do it in real time. Um, I kept the beard super simple. I definitely undercoated them in the gray color as well. And just kind of stroked them on. Um, and it's like each one's turning out a little different. So like for this guy, I didn't really make a dimple in his hat. I made a dimple in this one's hat and I made a dimple in this one's hat. So, you know, it's harder to get. Uh, and also on this gingerbread man, like I think I'm going to base him a little lighter color next time because it's just easier to get your shading to get like a different um i don't know it's dark colors are harder to shade on is what i'm finding so for these guys like i think i did my first one this guy i think i based him with asphaltum which was a really dark brown and i ended up having to put i'll come in but i like understroked or i stroked over his little cheeks hopefully that'll it looks pretty good um you know like you really couldn't see any definition in his face so I came back with some like of the lighter skin tone and mixed it with red or I mixed it with brown I don't even know what I did I just mixed up a bunch of stuff that was on my palette to get it to show up so and I did tr I ended up giving him brown eyes because you really just couldn't even see the black um, but I think they're adorable so hopefully um, this one I did a little bit different too but you get the point. Like, I was able to get their cheeks to look kind of rosy, you know, and then I just made his nose, it really, it wouldn't show up, so I just had to lighten it. And I'm not, I've never taken a color class, so I'm not, I can't tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing when it comes to choosing colors. Oops, you know what I forgot to do on him was create the division of, like, on him. See how I made a division with the, with the, um, there would be a division there. I, I already, um, what did I, I already, um, let me just, I'll, I'll get back to it. I can do it on top of the varnish is what I'm saying, and then just varnish over it again, but I would like to have a division there, and I don't need it. Nobody's, the Santa police aren't going to come. I did put it on the other two that I finished, though. You see what I'm saying? Because, I mean, his jacket would open, and his pants, you know, there would be a division. I just did it differently. All right, so first thing is I also wanted to share, I did end up creating a PDF. If you go into the original video, um, I think it's called Dollar Tree Santa Prepping, something like that. I made a PDF, so I put my little guy that I finished 
on the scanner and then I traced after I traced him so I put this here I traced over that and then I put it here and I made a PDF for you guys so go over to that video I'll probably put it in this video too the link to get this and I mean my colors are a little they're not as bright I don't know why maybe my printer just didn't print them that bright what you want to do when you first get your your blank you can trace out the design lay it on top and I just really traced the the minimum amount of lines I I didn't put anything that I could just figure out I didn't trace because you, you don't need to I mean mainly it was the arm all of this this part here and down the side here just so I could do that um, and maybe the face part but the for the rest just because you don't have to erase lines off your piece if you you know the fewer lines you have look how cute this little Santa is he's so tiny look at the difference it's like a little mini me <laughs> oh my god this has been really fun all right so what I'm going to do with you guys today is shading and those of you who've watched my videos know that I shade and and highlight using um, an angle brush and a technique called floating so let's get to it I also use palette paper which this is like a waxy surface you can get this at craft stores um, it's called paper palette and I use a this is a sure touch angle this is a 3 8 inch angle just because these are little pieces I can use this but I generally use a bit bigger I my go-to is a half inch and I like an angle brush and you'll see why so I, I want to go to water first let me get some paint out let's let's float our or get the shading done on our red and our green so we're just going to do that first so I'm going to use candy bar brown I also I'll tell you what I used I used country red for the suit and I'm going to use candy bar brown for the shading it's like a, a burgundy it's such a pretty color I've always loved shading with candy bar and I'm just using a little piece of deli paper you do not need a lot of paint and what we're gonna do is say it with me guys corner load <laughs> so I go into my water um, I kind of want you to be able to see what I'm doing just for the first I always have a stack of paper towels I go into my water bucket I blot on a paper towel I let the water you can almost see the water the shine go off the bristles so there's still water in there and you want water because the paint is going to float across the bristles I'm corner loading so I've just dipped where are we that little corner in the paint and then I'm going to work that paint across the bristles and that's what you're considering a float I never want the paint to come all the way across what I want it to do is be the darkest on this side and be water you can see the bubbles there that's because there's water and then when I go to my piece let's go right here I lay down all the bristles on the surface up against where the um, the fur trim is and pull it all the way across the hat and if you have a mop brush that's so it's another tool that is kept dry and you just mop the water edge so I don't I'm just gonna kind of start tickling and pulling the paint across up into the water a little more to make it a little deeper it'll start to really show let's keep moving we're gonna do this to all of the places where there would be shadow on our snowsuit on the Santa's suit so I'm gonna corner load again work that paint down the bristles and we're gonna go uh, right up next to this fur but I have all the bristles on the surface because I want there to be so you can see it I don't know if you can but it's shot you can see the shine is as wide as my brush because there's water there I hope you can see this okay just got dark here 
I'm going to go along the bottom uh, up against his belt and I kind of pivot the brush when I don't want to leave a water line so I, I'm a little I'm just pulling right off the edge <clears throat> And you can go back and do this as many times as you, I'm going to go up a little bit so that you can see, yeah, you can start to see the color. Um, <clears throat> this is a very important one. I, I can see it underneath the red, there's a line. See that line right there where the forearm is divided by a shoulder. I'm going to float right there to separate the front from the back by sticking the paint right up against the fur here and pulling across there and just leaving it. I'm going to use my mop a little bit just to push that away. So you kind of see, you can see the top of his arm. We'll, we'll highlight that as well. We want to go under here, but I'm going to get the, give that a chance to dry. Because whatever I, uh, it looks like there's gold leafing on here. When You have to give it a chance to dry because you can pick up what you put down. I think I just have gold leafing. Um, I used gold paint. This is called Glorious Gold. It's one of my favorite colors. Uh, Americana. No, this is Deco Art. Um, to put the little buckles on his boots and the buckle on his um, belt. And this is the same technique all along. I'm going to go, um, let's go under the fur first. So I'm going to go see my brush is splitting a little bit it's just because I'm abusive to my brushes. All right, that looks good. I can move and do this on other um, pieces as well. So you're also going to want to do it around the bottom of his beard. So I'm just going to stick this right up here and go around the bottom of his beard. I just didn't want to do it while the other flute was a little bit wet because I could pull it off. So I've been doing this. Look, I've already painted, you know, three, four, five. I've, I'm telling you, practice, practice, practice. I'm starting to really, really see what practice can get you. I'm going to go, I think this is ready for me to do that on here. So see how I created the bottom of this arm? I need to do that on this one. Then I'm going to get out some black green. That's another favorite color um, that I love to shade with. So that's what I'm going to shade the, um, the toy, the bag with. So I'm going to start up against this area here. And if you don't feel you can make it all the way across, just do that little section. I have a hair in my runway. Um, so I, I'm able to get my float to go all the way around, but you can take as many you know, times as it needs. So I'm going to start here. Because I have a lot of water in the brush. So it's very slick. So I put that there. And then we still need one up against the boots. Picked up my brush a little bit because I don't want to lose all the red. And then the last place I'm going to go is up against the fur on his sleeve. So that's all the shading we're going to do for the suit. <clears throat> you can, <coughs> depending on what color you use, go back <clears throat> as many times as you need to get the desired depth of color. I am going to make a little divot in his hat. Um, let me see. Right here. I'm going to go. And then right here. I don't know. I just think it makes it look kind of cool. And I think I'm done with that. 
we're gonna get I'm gonna get the black green and I'm gonna do the sack while that all dries and then I'll highlight and then the only other thing we have to do is the fur the face and the beard so this is a really great little piece I love it I've been having fun I've been painting for the last couple days just coming in here doing a little bit at a time um, I have the black green I'm doing the same technique corner load blend the paint into the bristles float them across with water and I'm going to put the color up against the fur here up against the belt up against his tummy and I'm just going to stick it right there and I think I'm going to pull it out a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing up here where he's holding the sack right there I'm just going to leave it like that for now I'm going to, I'll come over to this other guy and I'll show you the next little area I want to do is all the way around his arm. So from here, gosh, that's dark. I'm such a heavy hand. Just know that if you're a light, if you don't put on as much color, you can go back and add and add and add. I just like, I'm a one and done. It's just kind of the way I am. I mean it looks nice it's my style so I think that what separates us you know we could all paint the same Santa but it, they all look different because we are different so see that just kind of sets the sack up up against his back a little bit and I'm not going to do that on here yet because I want to make sure that um, those are dry I'm going to come back on top of his arm here I just don't feel like that's dark enough so back into that candy bar. I think my voice is leaving. I don't know where it's going. I think I'm going to start with the paint in the corner and pull it across again. And leave it right there. I don't know why, it just feels like it's not as defined. As soon as I put the uh, highlight on, and what I like to highlight with is called Fiery Red Americana's Neons. It used to be Hot Shots Fiery Red, but now it's called Neons. And it's really translucent. It's not opaque at all, but man, it makes a red. This red really pops. Let's see. So you can kind of see. Eh, it's, it's, you can see it really good right here on this elbow. Anyway. Um, it definitely cut let's say this little guy he really looks I put a lot on his shoulder down to his elbow um, I'll do his little tummy and along the hat a little bit and then I think I just kind of whooshed it in the middle there to give a highlight just kind of where the light would hit it or wherever you want because it's fun so I'm gonna put it I have a lot of paint I am just I like a lot of paint. I don't want it to go over the shading. Um, can you see how it like? I think I see it. I'm going to put it on his belly and I'm going to put it all along the side. This is the his right side. No, no, it's his left side. <laughs> My right side. Um, And I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle of his, I'm just going to kind of go like this. And Do you see that? It is so popping. I can't, I hope you can see it. I'll come up a little bit. Um, go back to my sack, black green. That's Kirby. Um, I think I'll start, I'll have water on my hand, right up against the where his hand and pull it around his shoulder area hopefully I'm in the shot 
Because when I'm really focused, I saw in the other video my hair, my head got in the shot. But, you know, what can I tell you? I'm pretty focused. OMG, it's starting to look so cute. All right. Oh, we're going to separate his shirt. Going to go back to the uh, candy bar and put that little division for his legs and his shirt his jacket I have to do that on his boots oh I forgot about that we're not gonna shade the boots they're black but we're gonna highlight them with gray and I'm gonna use where is it it's the same gray that I used on their hair Quaker gray on their beard so I'm gonna put a little bit of that out and we're gonna highlight just the tips of his mittens Let's see. Same technique. I'm corner loading and floating the top area, his little thumb. Um, maybe this whole side. Might be a lot. On his boots, I'm, I've been liking doing it like this. I kind of do right here and then I stop like where the sole would kind of. See how it gives them a little, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. It, it made it look like he had, where am I? I don't know. I like it. And then I'm going to go separate the two. Um, same thing over here, but I'm going to start on this side. And then just stop, whoops, before I get to the bottom. I'm just wiping it away to kind of make a little... And then I did put, on the taller ones, I put a little here and a little here. And that's really it. Oh, the, the belt. Um, what did I do for the belt? I think I'm going to shade it. I'm sorry. It's highlight. I'm going to highlight just along the bottom. Just to give it a little something. Okay, he's all shaded. Red black, green. I didn't highlight the green. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use the same color that I base coated with and just add a little white to it to pop up the, the brightness. And I'm just going to brush mix it. White and what did I use? Hauser medium green. So I corner load again the green put it down, go get some white, put it down. Now I've made a brighter green. I rinse my brush and I'm going to pick it up right from here and just go down the outside of the sack. I'm a heavy hand guys. I make it's bright, but you can see it. Um, and you could make divots and play around, do what you want. All right, so I think that's, I want, I might want to be done with that and then come back and do, um, the faces and the beards and the fur. All right, I'll be back to do the faces, the beards, and the fur. Thanks for watching.